uh, good morning everyone this is a recording of the purchasing exercise to give you an overview of the exercise um, this is the business process that occur within large organizations when they want to purchase a particular good or service they have to go through several steps first to ensure that there is uh, approval of the purchase and second, to make sure that there is no um, there is no unethical behavior occurring throughout the process. So uh, there is what we call cross validation of documents. The documents that are created at later stages of the purchasing cycle must be cross validated with the ones that were created at the beginning of the cycle. So an overview of the cycle is that it starts by um, either you purchasing a product that you have already purchased from a vendor and you are like buying from the same vendor or you're trying to find out which vendor you should buy from and it starts with sending a, an inquiry to the vendor asking for the price and then um, getting quotation as a result you get a number of quotations from the vendor um, and you they are entered into the system the system kind of, of um, prioritize them or um, or rank them based maybe on price you determine what the criteria are that the system uh, should use in order to rank these uh, quotations once a quotation is uh, identified as the winning quotation then um, that quotation uh, is copied into a requisition a requisition is now a request that you are internally creating in order to get approval for the purchase the requisition once approved is copied into a purchase order that is sent to the vendor. The vendor then uh, would uh, provide or ship the goods and serve the goods. And once you receive these goods, you create within the system what we call a goods receipt. You have to reflect that increase in inventory. So you create a goods receipt, and the goods receipt again is cross validated against the purchase order you have to receive the quantity and the items specified on the purchase order. Um, along with entering the goods receipt, you also have to enter an invoice. Normally, when a vendor is sending you the products, they are sending it along with an invoice that has to be paid either 30 days or 60 days or um, uh, upon receipt. So you have to enter the invoice, and that would reflect or you on your accounts payable. Accounting would see that information right away and will process a payment to the vendor and once a payment is being processed then the account is um, balanced you have like you would have a zero balance for for that vendor. So this is the process that we will go through. The first thing that you will do is uh, log on into uh, Madrid that's the new server that we will be using if you cannot see Madrid you will have to add um, that file you will have to add the server and follow the instructions on blackboard so I'll double click on Madrid the client is 755 your user would start with your username starts with BPI dash and then the last three digits of the user ID that you have on Blackboard the original one was TSU yours now is BPI but the dash and then the last three numbers this are exactly the same so I'm gonna use 070 and your initial password is capital S A P four number four U S and all that information is actually written on Blackboard. So 
uh, again, your user ID starts with BPI standing for business process integration dash and then the last three digits of the user ID of the SAP user ID that's posted on Blackboard under the gradebook. Your password is capital SAP for number four US. The system will ask you to enter a new password and I will enter mine. So you choose a password but remember it's something that you use every day. Make sure that you are aware of what, what letters are, uh, are capitalized. So now you are in. Now purchasing is part of logistics. Remember when I was telling you about enterprise systems, I said that um, every role within an organization uh, determine what you get to see in the system. Right now, the system, what you see is everything, all the modules. That's not, of course, the right structure, but this is a system for educational purposes, and that's why you get to see all of the functions. So we'll click on logistics. We'll click on uh, purchase material management, purchasing, purchase order. You want to create a purchase order for a vendor that we have already inside of the system. Okay. You do not enter the purchase order number. This will be provided by the system automatically. First thing is to locate your vendor. One thing you have to be careful about is that the vendor is associated again with your number. Everything in the exercises, the items that you will buy, the vendor, uh, the, your purchasing organization, your purchasing uh, group, your company code, everything has to have your, uh, two, the last two digits of your user ID. So right now, my, the last two digits of mine is 70. So I want to find out uh, my particular vendor for boxes. I'll go, my search term is 170. You have to add that one at the beginning and then the last two digits of your user ID. And now it lists all of my vendors. So again, you will enter one and the last two digits of your user ID. The vendor that we want to buy from is Lamar is uh, Boxes Incorporation. This number will be different for each one of you. Then I'll go into the header, and my purchasing organization starts with a P, and it is one and seven zero because my number is zero seven zero. So I, instead of the zero, I change it to a one. My purchasing group is 170. My company code is C and 170. Now, a purchasing organization is that department within your company that's responsible for purchasing. Because you may be purchasing, if you are a large organization, you may be purchasing different types of, of products so you may have a purchasing group responsible for software purchases, another purchasing group responsible for raw material, another responsible for office supplies, and so on. Your company code, a company may have several company codes if they have several subsidiaries. So the material that we want to buy is box 170 and the quantity is 500 and the delivery date is make it two weeks from today and the net price is uh, 25 cents your currency is a US dollar your plant is again P170 the one is the same P1 is the same but then you will have to change the 70 your storage location is 10. That's where you are storing that, that particular product when it comes. 
then your second item is a C pen you are a pen company C pen 170 and you only want to buy 50 again the delivery date is two weeks from today my net price is a dollar fifty five again my plant is P170 and my storage location is 10 10 is the same for everyone that means it's in the inventory okay now I have all of my uh, products I'm gonna go and look at the item overview and look at the conditions and see that boxes will cost me a dollar a hundred and twenty five and that the click pen will cost me seventy seven dollars and fifty cents so everything looks fine I wanna find out now um, what would be the total cost for that particular purchase order so I'll click on conditions and it says it's two hundred and two dollars and fifty cents so you have seen the price of each individual one and you also saw the price for everything everything looks fine I'm gonna save it and I get a purchase order number 43 and you have to write down that number 45 six zeros and four three four five six zeros and four three okay now I'm done I'm gonna go out of there